Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be playing with the new milk, or do you want some milk? Not sure which one. Palette from Made by Mitchell. Um, if you are not new to my channel, you'll know I have both the Feet on the Ground and the Head in the Clouds palettes. I love them both. Um, I am so lucky to have this. I wasn't going to pick it up just due to funds being low, but my wonderful friend and subscriber, Danielle, she gifted me this. And also a couple of glisten liners, which you'll see later on. Um, oh, I cannot thank you enough, Danielle. I am so over the moon that I actually have this in my collection and for those of you who don't know what it looks like on the inside firstly you've got the slip which says do you want some milk um, and this is the colour story obviously mine's a bit beaten up because I've been using it and as you can see so this is the beauty that we're going to be playing with today so as usual if you would like to see how I created both of these looks and yeah hear my first thoughts on this palette then just keep on watching okay guys so for some reason I'm primed to both eyes but we're doing two different looks so I'm going to start with this eye and I am going to go into grass field so I have both of the other two palettes big ones and I love them so I'm uh, pretty confident I'm going to love this too and I'm so incredibly thankful to Danielle for giving me the opportunity to try out this palette I'm just going in that outer area there this is a gorgeous colour I love this so beautiful um, for any of you that don't know I am a a huge huge green fan she says wearing a bright pink top this is my mean girls top it says on Wednesdays we wear pink it's not a Wednesday but you know, it doesn't matter today we're wearing pink This is so nice. So I'm really just concentrating this on the outer area and bringing it down onto the outer part of the lid. I'm flicking it out a bit because I do want this look to kind of go outwards today. I'm just kind of flicking the edges. So yeah, like I said, the first two palettes I have, the Head in the Clouds and Feet on the Ground, I love them. I think looking at a lot of these shades, this is going to be very complementary to both palettes so I'm wondering if uh, Mitchell kind of created the palettes so that they would go together like complement each other so I am going to at some point create a look using all three and uh, yeah see where we go from there this is absolutely gorgeous i was concerned actually that this color wouldn't be deep enough for the outer part and i believe i was wrong the brush i used for that shade was a spectrum a12 love those brushes so much and i'm using one of my made by mitchell me one or two me one brush and I'm going to go into 
daisy and I'm going to be taking that just in the rest of my crease obviously this is a slightly more open brush so it's not going to kind of solidly direct the colour uh, I'm not very good at explaining things if you are not new you will know this already I'm loving this shade so I'm going to take it along the top of the green there I just want to kind of blend them in a little bit to each other yeah just wiggling over the top so far just from these two shades I'm pretty confident it is the same formula as the other two palettes I'm taking it a bit at a time because I really don't want to uh, I don't want to kind of go in too hard and lose the green Just want a nice, just a nice blend between two. And then from that green, just flicking that outwards. For this part, I will go back in with the green. Kind of re-intensify it, but at the moment I just want to get everything kind of blended a bit. Okay. All right, let's go back in with the green. I'm going to drag it in just a little bit and again I'm just placing a shadow and then flicking that out gently and gently into the lower part I'm just going to bring that green just in a little bit more, just right down, right down low in the crease here. I just need that little bit of depth kind of going through. Hmm, I wonder, I'm going to take a risk. Um, I'm going to go into Soured and I'm going to use the Made by Mitchell ME3. I'm just going to take a bit of that. I'm just going to go over the edges. Yeah, I think that's going to work. I don't know if you can see this very well on camera. Now this obviously would go better over a white base, but yeah, it's definitely doing what I wanted it to do. Yeah, you definitely would be able to see this better over a white base, most definitely. And obviously I'm not packing on either, I'm just using small amounts just to blend out these edges kind of bring it together a bit more I'm going to where am I right I am first going in with brown cow 
and let's see so I want a darker shimmer on the kind of outer part I'm not using any um, glitter primer or anything just popping it straight on I have found with the other two ones that I didn't need to use a glitter primer or spray the brush you could do a really neutral look with this palette obviously I'm not going to because I'm not that's just cut not really my my thing um, and then just back in with a bit of what's it called just going back in with a bit of grass fed the uh, the mat just want to make sure that it's blended oh that's nice and now I'm going to go in with claws and I'm going to didn't see what the other brush was um it's just a little morphe kind of flat but fluffy brush doesn't have a name or number and this is a morphe madison beer brush again just a little flat one slightly fluffy and this is going to go on the rest of the lid oh my word okay i like this one a lot I'm patting it over around there So I've, uh, with my eyes open, just sketched around the outer part there, so it shows above my hooded eyes. And then just going back in with a brush for brown cow. I'm just going to try and tap into the blue a little bit so I am going to try spraying that one because I think this could look more um, shimmery I'm just going to take the brush I used for Daisy, the, uh, the kind of mustardy colour. I'm just going to take that right along that join. I don't want to uh, have the harsh lines. I'm going to go over top of that with Milky. Oh, okay, this has got like a greeny shift in it. I'm going to leave that one alone for the minute because I do want to move on to the other side. Let me make sure I've got no creases. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that one's going to come together more when the look's complete. So we'll worry about that later. 
Okay, so I'm first going to go in with Angus, which I'm so excited to dry, and place that right in this outer area here. I think there's a lot of looks, a lot of options for looks available um, in this palette. It is absolutely stunning. And like I already said, I think that it's going to make a great companion palette for the other two. And again, I was a bit concerned about the depth of this on the eye, but it does it does seem to be packing on really nicely. It's packing on It's like an aubergine colour or I guess if you're in the US you call it eggplant this is gorgeous again I'm bringing this outwards I'm just trying to get it so that it's really opaque and then we will go in with I'm not sure yet again just packing really packing it on in this outer area there and right in the lower part of the crease and then just kind of blending out a bit. Okay. Okay. So I am now going to. I'm going. What am I going to go with? So I really want to go with that bright pink. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going in with Lactose, this pink. It is so pretty. I am so excited. So I'm going to take that right on the edge here. And I'm going to bring that down into the inner part of my eye there. I'm just taking it right along just the outer part of that shade there. Around the very edge I'm going to go in with other one, the pastel pink. I'm going to use that to blend out the edges there. And this is actually really showing up. Even more so, I think, than soured. But again, I think both would look... Look? stand out so much more in in on a white base I'll get there eventually uh, this is definitely adding what I wanted okay we're going with that so for the lid I am first going to Go in with what? 
on earth does that say? In intolerance. Oh my word, I haven't got my glasses on, so you have to forgive me. And again, I haven't sprayed because I want to see what they're like without it. And this is looking beautiful. Oh, look at that shade. I could quite happily just pop this all over my lid, but I want to use another one. That is so pretty. It's kind of a, almost like a purple to fuchsia pink shift. I like that a lot. All right, let me, what do you do? Yeah. And for the inner part of my lid, I'm going in with Licky Licky, which is this, uh, what I class this as? I'm no good at explaining colours, so explaining, describing, so you will see for yourselves. I'm getting a lot of fallout, but then I'm loading up my brush not being careful because I haven't done my base and also I haven't wet the brush or anything. This is just the shimmers going on dry. I do think that Claws is more of a topper shade. I'm not unhappy with how it's uh, how it looks but I did need to kind of top it a bit with Milky etc. And this is like a pink to orange by the looks of it. So pretty. I'm going to have so much fun playing with this palette. Absolutely stunning. Right, just going back in with the brush in the pink just to assist the blend. Okay, I'm I'm super impressed with these two shimmers. Okay, so straight away for inner corner highlight, I'm going to be going in with Milky for both eyes. Now, let's see. Let's have a see. That's pretty. Is that going to look good on the other side? I think so. It's going to definitely make more of an impact on this side because of the more contrasting colours. But Mixing in a bit on the edge there. Okay, and same for the brow bone highlight, just dipping in a little bit. I think this really makes an impact on both sides. I'm not mad at that. Right guys, so I'm going to nip off and finish my face and then I will come back to show you both finished looks and yeah, have a chat about the, uh, I'm not sure if it's milk or do you want some milk palette from Made by Mitchell. So if you would like to see all of that, hear my thoughts, then 
just stay where you are. Okay guys, so I am back with the finished looks. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Do you prefer look one or look two? I can't choose, or can I? I really love the shimmers on this side, but then the green matte on this side, I can't choose. I can't. So what did I think? Well, before we go into that, I will just let you know that Danielle ever so kindly also picked me up two of the split liners from Glisten Cosmetics. So I've got the Royals, which I have on this eye, wrong way around. <laughs> and this one is Cotton Candy and that's on this eye um, with, let me just swap them around save it being confusing so on each eye i went on the inner part with the the lighter of the two and then on the outer part with the deeper of the two and i love these i love these so much i do have a couple of uh, glisten liners um from my wonderful friend anki and yeah i had to bring these into the looks also especially as Danielle had picked them up for me, as well as the milk, or do you want some milk palette? Um, so yes, I incorporated them into the looks. I hope you like it. And uh, Danielle, thank you so much. I love them. And the palette, well, the outer sleeve is exactly the same on both sides as the, the palette. So, outer packaging wise, I mean, this is raised to the M, um, and I love black and white. There's just something, just, I don't know, it's like clean, crisp, attention drawing. I love black and white. Um, I have a black cat and a black and white dog. Need I say more? Um, so, yes, the packaging, I'm loving, absolutely loving. I mean, even on the back, it's black and white cow print there. I love it. I'd say cow print. It looks like it's dripping as well. And then when you open it up, obviously you've got the large mirror and it says, do you want some milk? And then we've got this slip, um, which also says, do you want some milk? Um, I love it. So I'm definitely keeping that one in. So these shadows. Oh, that green, that one there, what's it called? Grass fed. Oh my Lord, it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. And I was really, really surprised at how well, especially this pastel one, other one, um, performed, loved it. These two shimmers are perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, I used claws. Um, I think that's more of a topper shade. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, if you know, but I do believe that's more of a topper shade. And brown cow, beautiful. Um, not the same formula as these two though. Overall, I'm so happy. It is such a beautiful palette and as I have said, I don't know how many times in this video, it is going to be an amazing companion palette for the Feet on the Ground palette and also the Head in the Clouds palette. And I can't wait to use them in conjunction with each other because I think oh, there's going to be some amazing looks come from the three together or even just combining two. I love the colour story. I know a few people have said, you know, they don't know how much they could do with it, etc. Um, yes, it's missing a black, but I think almost all of us, if not all of us, have a black in our collection that we can pull in should we need to. Um, personally, I would have not had this shade, but then had a deeper green. 
and I don't really have many other. This one here I would have made more blue and more in this formula but I'm literally just nitpicking. This is a beautiful palette. I love it and I think there are so many different colour combinations that you can do with this palette and I am so super happy to have it. I'm having to put my arms down now because I'm so weak I can't even hold it up any longer. Um, Danielle thank you so so much. I'm just so incredibly grateful and oh I love it. I love it. I love the liners. This has been a lot of fun. I know that initially, oh, I still stand by, I don't think either of these are my best work. Um, today I'm in a particularly large amount of pain, so um, yeah, it's not the best I've done, but I am not mad at them either. I, I like both looks, so... If you've liked this video, please do give it a like, thumbs up. That really helps me out. If you are new or if you are here watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please do go ahead and just and describe, subscribe. Um, I I do a lot of really colourful looks. I mainly use indie brands on my channel. I'm a huge supporter of indie brands, and that's where my heart lies. And also, I will only use cruelty-free brands. So, uh, yeah, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, or if you maybe want to discover some indie brands that you hadn't heard of before, then, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. And with that, I'm going to say <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.